Recirculating sluice boxes cost over $100. Well, I'm the poorest man in the valley, and I can't afford it. I can only afford this 50 cent cap. For 50 cents, I can make a recirculating sluice box. I can retain the water. I put soap in the water so the gold doesn't float off. And I use that water all day long, the same water. I may add a little bit, but uh, it's basically the same water all day long. That means I can go way up on a hill and uh, prospect up there and uh, run my sluice box away from water or in a creek where there's low water and you can't use your sluice box because the, the water's not going fast enough or maybe the water's going too fast and you just very difficult to get your sluice box down in it so th this is a practice trade of put, putting in my uh, plug and uh, this is how it goes the gold will, will go in here just about all the gold will go in here if you use a sluice box twice and, and use the same sand uh, you don't get anything the second time. Everything will be in this cap. This is the bottom size of the cap. And what I use is a couple of buckets. And this is my saw. Cuts a two inch circle. cap will go in from the other side and be there. So this bucket will go in another bucket so you don't lose your water. You re recirculate your water all times. So the buckets were free. I only had to pay 50 cents for that cap. I have buckets all over my house. I found a stick out in the yard. How much do sticks cost? Zero. No, no cost at all for the stick. Soap. Antibacterial uh, dish soap. Got that free. Found it in the kitchen. Uh, that's how you make a recirculating sluice box for 50 cents. So I call it the 50 cent sluice, recirculating sluice box piece. Don't break the lock.